Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Each spring, we celebrate the Buddha's birthday at the Grafton Peace Pagoda. It's a beautiful building built to honor the Buddha's teachings of peace and compassion. This year's celebration will be April 28th, and all are welcome. And April has a lot of exciting aspects, and here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins with retrograde Mercury conjunct the Sun. Gemini, the Sun and Mercury conjunct in your 11th house of associates focuses your mind on what you have learned through social and professional groups. Mercury retrograde warns you to focus on important issues so you don't get sidetracked by confusion. Venus is conjunct Uranus in the background. A Venus-Uranus conjunction in the background suggests that you can be a bit visionary. Woo! So reach out to friends and associates to get projects moving. Inspiration is a powerful ally, but erratic people and ideas can cause confusion. Mars conjuncts Saturn on April 2nd. Gemini, Mars in your 8th house increases your sensuality and your desire to join with others on an intimate and passionate level. You can invest in a brand new business or get rid of an old one that ain't working too well. Mars conjunct Saturn suggests care is needed with finances. So focus on important issues and don't take shortcuts in accounting. Listen to your deeper feelings but maintain emotional clarity. Mercury goes direct on the 15th, and Saturn retrogrades on the 17th. Gemini, Mercury goes direct on the 15th. Your concentration and ability to think more clearly will eliminate confusion and group and corporate efforts. Now, you may even play a leadership role. However, Saturn going retrograde warns you that care is needed in joint finances. Focus on important issues and don't take any shortcuts with accounting. Feelings and emotional situations should not affect your money. The Sun conjuncts Uranus on April 18th. Gemini, the powerful Sun-Uranus conjunction energizes your 11th house of associations. This is a good time to blend your energy and creativity with other people. You can do volunteer work or become involved in a social cause. <laughs> Form new friendships with like-minded people. Use the power of negotiation and cooperation to affect social and political change, and you will be a star. Pluto goes retrograde April 22nd and conjuncts Mars on the 26th. Gemini, Pluto retrograde in your 8th house of sensuality compels you to deepen your intuition and your psychic abilities. You will gain power as you join your energy with people you trust on an intimate level. Purge all fears and inhibitions, but identify and understand where they came from in the first place. Control any urge to manipulate others. Mars conjunct Pluto intensifies your intuitive and your psychic nature. Take nothing for granted with partners. Focus on what you can do together. Move with power, but be gentle. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and share these, all these videos with your friends because they are free. Isn't that a great thing? <laughs> and if you'd like to know more about your own personal horoscope, go to my website, ProfessorAstrology.com. Go to the readings page, and there you can order a chart based on your time, date, and place of birth, and you can get a transit chart that'll tell you what's coming for the next 12 months. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a very great month.